Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use three-piece patterns to basically make your four-piece patterns worth more. So, I just go ahead and set up a simple little combo. Okay, so as we've seen in previous videos, it starts off as a fair, and then it goes to a good, and then these next two will be great. And there you go, as you can see, each progressive combo is basically worth more, and as you get up into the Vegas's, that goes one step higher. So, we've already said it's worth more to basically use these four piece patterns. So, what we want to do is get all our points from these four piece patterns. But we don't want to just stick to the four piece patterns because well, that's not going to give us a very good score. If I just abandon the puzzle, I'm just going to do one really quickly to prove that to you. Okay, so here. I'm just going to do a really quick puzzle just by doing doubles of these large combos. And all I'm doing, as you can see, as the combos get higher, I'm getting more and more points. And again, I'll just keep doing triples like this. Again, I just keep making all these four piece patterns. Uh, I've got this yard piece here. I'm going to build this piece. Um, yeah. Um, one thing I will say is about these barrel pieces is make pay really good attention to what the actual patterns are. One very easy mistake you can make is instead of making a barrel, you could make it like this, and you'll try to clear it, and you'll kick yourself because you've done it wrong. Um, so when you're making things like barrels, and there's also a piece like this jib but with yellow hair, uh, it's very easy to just sort of get them mixed up. So here we go. You can see this bolt rope piece here. It's very easy to get these two mixed up. And I'll just let the water come up so you can see the score. And as you can see, I've just gotten a good for that puzzle. Which isn't too bad, but we want to be pushing more towards excellence and increds. But if you're satisfied with a good, that is something you can do. Um, basically, all you need for a good is to start doing four-piece patterns. One thing I've found is to be able to get a fine, you need very large strings of three-piece patterns. To get a good, you need to be able to um, use four-piece patterns. To get an excellent, you need to be able to 
chain together the four piece patterns with three piece patterns like I'm going to show you or do five piece patterns rather inefficiently and to get an incredible you have to learn how to efficiently chain together combos to elevate the score for five piece patterns so I'm going to show you what I mean by elevating the score of your four five, of your four piece patterns to get the highest scores which will basically give you an excellent so as we've seen previously I want to get my score my combo as high as possible so why not use these three piece patterns to basically start my combo off for me so what I'm going to do is just sort of start off with these sort of patterns so I've got my thimble and my gaff I'm just going to build my Bigger, but I'm going to build my bigger combos first. Sorry, um, this is something you should always do. Don't start with the small ones. Always start with your larger, more valuable combos. Um, for this reason that I can't complete this knee, I just don't have enough pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear these first two pieces. So I'm going to do the three piece patterns first and as you can see now I'm already on a triple so these four piece patterns are now going to be worth about three times as much so I'm already going straight to an excellent and then I just sort of scan around quickly see if there are any um, three piece patterns I can make and I spot this knee pattern now one tempting thing to do is take this knee pattern and put it here but obviously you want to use common sense if if placing a three piece pattern will destroy a four piece pattern like placing this knee here will destroy this barrel piece so I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to place the barrel piece instead again before I place my next four piece pattern I'm going to scan see what else could have been created and I notice that I've actually got another four piece pattern here so I've got a donkey here and again before I go and clear that last piece I'm just going to stop see if there are any three piece patterns there aren't so I'm just going to leave it at that I'm going to start all over again first of all I want to build my my big patterns first put them nice and tightly into a corner again just use the techniques and get them in the right columns or rows so there we go I've gotten all my pieces I'm just going to set up a couple of smaller combos now so I've got my knee and my shackle to just sort of start me off. I have a quick check to see if there's anything and there isn't, so I'm just going to start doing my four piece patterns now. Again, I'm just sort of checking each time if anything pops up that I can clear. Oh, there was actually a gaff piece that I've just happened to miss. That's why you should check more fully. There isn't anything, so that's it for that one. Again, I need to start placing my big patterns tightly into these corners. And here I'm using the method of I can't get a white piece into that position, so first I move a yellow piece there and then I move the white piece always an effective method and I'm just going to set up a few smaller pieces uh, I need to place my ballad piece here a pump and I can't manage a bollard so I'm going to have to leave that usually you'll be able to get all but one I've found while I'm doing this
again before the last piece I'm just gonna have to stop check around I can't see anything so I'm just going to go ahead and start the next pattern again build it up in the corner put my rudder so I'm, and then I'm going to build this piece here again one of the most effective methods if you're trying to build a pattern and you can't see an obvious solution is just move the yellow piece there and as soon as you move the yellow piece into the position then it just seems to come, become a lot more obvious um, I can't build the bollard I can build this halyard though and one thing, another thing you have to be very aware of is accidentally breaking these patterns in order to make a run. So as you saw, when I moved this halyard piece, I had to sort of steal this over to the left. So one thing you want to make sure you do is, if you make a pattern, you want to you want to never touch that piece again. If you've got absolutely no choice and you have to make sure you replace it afterwards and here as you can see on the flag I only need to place one more pattern so now I'm just going to get a few sort of bonuses in I'm going to do it much faster um, it doesn't look like there's anything I'm just going through one piece at a time and scanning but there's nothing to clear so And there you go. I've chained the two pieces together and now I've started getting an excellent for that. And that's the end of this video.